So as far as the functionality goes, we're just going to create a game manager and then every time that the ball hits the north or the south boundary, the game manager will keep track of the scores and increment them. So yeah, we can jump right in and yeah, create a, create a little game manager script called game manager. And it's, yeah, it's just going to have two variables. One of them is going to be the, the player score. The other is going to be the computer score. At the moment, we'll make them public just so that we can see, you know, for testing purposes, we can see in the inspector as each one uh, increments in player score. Okay, and also the computer score. Just to make life easy for us, we can just create a static, a static uh, function, which means that our ball controller will be able to call this without needing to reference our game manager. So we can just say like public, like the rather an instance of the game manager. So it's a public static uh, void, and that's just going to be uh, increment score. And to know which 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 score we're going to be incrementing, we can just pass in the name of the the collider that that we've hit. Remember, we've got a collider behind each of the paddles. So if we hit the collider of the south paddle, then the the computer gets a point. You know, so we can just go string. Um, we'll call it collider name. Okay, and then all we got to do in in this in this function is just say uh, switch the collider name. So switch collider collider name. And in the case of bounds uh, bounds south, the the that's where the player is always. So bounds south. If the ball hits the bounds south, it means the computer scored a point. So we say computer score. Computer score. Score plus plus. Okay, and then we can <clears throat> then we can return. And then in the case of uh, bounds north, north, the player score can increment. Okay, and then we return. Um, yeah. Now, it also, if we if we want to if we want to get that UI functioning as well, we can do that as well. All we got to do there is just increment. Um, okay. Okay. So I, th I think what's happening here is because this is a static function, it doesn't want me to reference these instant variables. In that case, why don't we just make it simple for us and just instead of making it static, we'll just get the ball to reference the game manager. It's kind of, yeah, there are a million ways to do the same thing. Um, anyway, so we just have a public uh, text. Now, it's the, text, the text boxes, they're a part of the UI um, namespace. So we go using uh, Unity Engine.UI. There it is. Yeah, and now, if we come down here, we can go to public text. There we go. Text, uh, text, uh, text player score. So let's go TXT player score. And the same for the computer. Okay. And now all, all we do down here is when we increment the score, we just make sure that we update the UI. So we just say computer, let's see, uh, text computer score. Uh, dot text okay equals uh, computer colon space and then we can just add in the computer score okay and yeah now we just do the same for the player oops player score dot text equals player Last player score, and that's and that's the functionality for 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 yeah for updating our UI. And all, all we do now is in our ball script, make sure that we uh, we call that down here. So so for, first of all, let's get a reference to the to the game manager. So we just go public game manager game manager, and now down here. Whenever, remember, on a collision, whenever we hit either the north or the south bounds, 
we'll just say game manager dot increment increment score and pass in this collision uh, the collision transform name transform dot name and that's done so now all we've got to do is uh, hook everything up we'll create a new empty game object we'll just call that game manager and we just uh, drag in our game manager script and now we just got to make sure that uh, the, our game manager is referencing the, the, the text boxes so in the canvas drag computer score in the text computer score and player score in the text player score and also we need to make sure the ball knows about the game manager so we just go in the ball script notice now we've got this little game manager and we can drag game manager into that and that's everything so now we can just hit play and, and see if it all see if it all uh, all hooks up check the check the console for errors there we go okay there we go and yeah so we're getting those uh, those uh, scores incrementing I thought I noticed the player the score kind of jumped down a bit I'm not sure why that was it, it could be it could be that uh, Something to do with the width of the boxes or something. Yes. Yeah, so anyway, but yeah, just maybe tweak tweak a, a few of those little UI settings. But yeah, that's 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 pretty much it.